Okay, we're playing League. Uh, it's against Nekativ. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, looks like we're starting out with my start, which is exciting, other than the fact this board looks like crap. Um, yeah, quite frankly, there's not actually that much to do here. Uh, uh, you can draw up a lot with Wishing Well, play a Berserker, and that almost seems like, that almost seems like it. Um, I guess there's like Goat Herd to consider with Chapel. It's like there's, there's just no, there's no village, so you, you just can't do a lot of the things that you might, you know, like to do with Bridge, like to do with other draw. Um, and I think putting a berserker on the end of end of things is going to be uh probably stronger than most anything else. Um my one concern I guess with opening like like that I think the natural opens like chapel wishing well. My my one concern with uh chapel wishing well is that like you open goat herd and somehow get a giant turn off of that, can gain berserker, uh and like beat me up from there, but it's it's so hard to it's so hard to not open chapel that I think I think we're just gonna do it. Um, and then yeah, let's let's do our wishing well. Okay, it's matched. Um, I could get ambitious here and name a state. Like, that would make it so that I hit five next turn, which would be kind of nice. Um, and otherwise it's like if I name copper, I don't know, I hit four next turn, I'd buy probably silver. Um, what would I buy on five war chests? That doesn't actually seem very good. All right, let's name copper. And this will be silver. I uh, hope to get the Berserker in as soon as possible. Okay, similar turns. Uh, this is not great. Um, I'm trying to think about how much money I actually have. Uh, it's like wishing well silver, copper, copper in there, so I think I want to keep at least one copper around. Uh, probably something like that. No real advantage to be hitting two. Um, you could be reaching the, the Berserker right here, which would be uh, kind of curtains for me, especially since I'm going to have to discard. Um, yeah. Like if I don't, if I don't find a copper right here, I just die. Okay. I die. So that's wonderful. Uh, by which I mean like not at all. Um, copper, go ahead and buy our berserker, I guess gain another wishing well. I'm not actually sure exactly what I want to do on five, but I think for now it's like, I'm looking at probably, um, I don't know. What am I looking at? I guess I could also take like a scrap. I'm not exactly sure what I'd do with a scrap yet, but like potentially I could take out the chapel. I don't know. Uh, if I continue to buy wishing wells, yeah, it's like I'm kind of thinking I want to take out all three coppers at once. Like that's a turn where I'm not going to be playing berserker. Um, and so then the question is, like, do I want a silver before that? I don't know. Let's just grab a wishing well. It's conservative. Uh, particularly since I guess I'm going to need to draw through a little bit here. Um, what is that? Like, wishing well. Okay. Copper. Copper. Um, I guess we're just gonna like go ahead and empty wishing wells. Uh, 
That seems like a probably productive thing to do. I'm not actually sure that adding a war chest is going to do us a whole lot. Um, and I especially don't want to actually be like losing that wishing well split. So let's just, let's just go with it that way. Maybe we'll take a scrap here off the berserker or we'll take this opportunity to like, well, no, I think, I think we gain a scrap. I'm just not really sure how to like incorporate or how much other stuff to incorporate other than just like silver gains. I still do want to clear out these three coppers. Um, but I don't know. It's kind of a, it's kind of a tough game. You do still have an estate around, which you might, yeah. Yeah. Last wishing well out. Uh, I guess we're naming wishing well. Okay. Uh, so that's how this game's going. Um, I still have the one copper remaining. I could like take a goat herd right now. I could take like goat herd scrap. Um, goat herd with the idea that it's non-terminal. I can like keep playing the berserker just fine. Uh, Maybe like go herd scrap. This might be a little bit overly ambitious. Um, but I don't really know what else to do. Like we we probably want to be feeding something to something to the wishing well. Or oh, something to the, something from the, our Berserker gains. Maybe this should just be silver though. Like, I'm not actually convinced that the scrap does much just because you're so draw limited. Uh, this Berserker impact's gonna suck. I think you just want silvers. I really do. Yeah. I mean, I need the goat herd because I have to keep clearing out this stuff while playing Berserker. You manage to get an extra trash in, I guess. Um, which I guess is sort of unsurprising given the, how the turns like three, you know, five, five, six went. Um, okay, it's a scrap. Um, I guess we keep naming copper. I'm kind of iffy on a lot of this. Okay, well, this is actually really bad because I just straight up have no draw in there. Um, do I just keep taking silvers? Maybe? Why not? Well, probably a lot of reasons why not, but... And now I actually have to make a decision whether I want to trash chapel or, or copper here. Um, presumably you scrap your chapel. Yeah. Action silver. Oh, of course. Okay. Fair enough. Um, probably like this. I don't know if it's actually worth keeping the chapel around. It might not be. Like, I feel like at some point maybe we do want that scrap for the horse draw, but... Eh. Yeah. Like Chapel is just a, just a worst card. Um, so I guess we're going to name Copper on these. I don't know, like, how much I want to put into drawing. Maybe we start naming Wishing Well. Apparently I can't, I just can't name the right thing. Um... 
continue on silvers, pick up a scrap. Maybe we just continue on silvers. Not getting the discard attack in feels really, really bad. Uh, we could also consider picking up like a wild blacksmith. Um, that might be productive if we start having a lot of silver in deck. Maybe. Like, I don't, I don't, like the thing, the thing with the scrap is I just don't know what I want to do with it. Uh, trash silver is sure. I don't know that we can really target trash bridge that much. Well. So. Maybe I take scrap, maybe I keep taking silvers. I'm just gonna keep taking silver. I really need to get the, I really need to get the coppers out. It's painful. I, like I'm, I'm not actually seeing a way that I really win this game from here. Um, at some point, it goes into provinces, and maybe we get a bit more random there. But like, it just seems it just seems really hard, um, given that I'm carrying, you know, still I guess three coppers. Uh, To zero. And like, I don't know how much the, the silver is affecting things, but at some point we have a lot of that. <laughs> okay. Well, the discard there seems pretty clear. Okay. I just keep gaining silver. Like it doesn't seem very good, but like at some point I I don't know that I want anything else. Hopefully you can miss Berserker this turn. That would be desirable. It's probably not happening. I'm still carrying one copper. Ugh. Okay, what did I see last turn? Like, do I still have coppers in here? Yeah, I do. Right. Province. Gross. Um, Alright, there's two wishing wells, two coppers. Gross. Uh, two coppers, we said. Alright, this is fine-ish, not really. Um, more silver, I guess. Okay, if I do get Berserker attacked this turn, I guess I have a decision to make whether I want to just clear the last copper, play Berserker, or what. Um, I seem to see your wishing wells an awfully lot. I guess the okay. Well, that's not a decision we're having to make. Uh, do I want to draw anything else? Maybe the copper. Okay, that's fine. Um, hitting plenty big numbers. So much silver. The problem is, is, like, right now I'm just, like, two provinces behind, so it's not exactly clear how I catch up other than by having you just, like, completely fail a turn. Um, I mean, that's a, that's a complete failure of a turn, but I don't know that I get to, that I get to do anything. Silver. Yay. Okay. I mean, I didn't find Berserker, but, you know. You'll we'll sure see all your wishing wells at the same time a lot. <laughs> uh, okay. How many wishing wells did I see last turn? Three? <sighs> so there's like wishing well, probably silver province, or wishing well, two silvers, 
Berserker. His name's Silver. So you didn't see the Berserker last turn, which means you probably see it this turn, which means we're probably not going to get to do anything like extremely fun with uh, like Berserker, Estate Gain, whatever. Um, I don't think that, well, I don't know what your chances of hitting Province this turn actually are. Um, ew, that's a interesting one to get wrong. Um, I mean, we have to go for the duchy, right? Oh. Now, I need the estate. I don't know if I need another estate. I probably do. Uh, though my ability to, like, actually beat a uh, estate is kind of minimal, uh, problematically. I mean, I guess we have to take... Do we have to take it? I don't think so. Maybe I take, like, a bridge. Like, I'm not getting around to it next turn, so I have to survive two of your turns, which seems pretty unlikely, but... Eh. Like, I, it, I, you, you minimally take a state, so taking a state here is not going to do me a whole lot of good. I'm going to have to buy duchies. Let's take a bridge. Or maybe I'll just get to province somehow. <laughs> that would sure be something. Please don't have five. Ugh. Gross. Well, now I think I have to take a state, which sucks, but here we are. And now I'm guessing you're probably just going to win right off the bat. Why aren't you naming Silver? It's so weird. Um, I need to get to the Berserker kind of badly, actually. Um, so I guess I'm going to name Province. Okay, well, Bridge does me a lot of good if I can draw Silver. Okay. So that was productive, other than the fact that you're probably about to win right here. Yeah. Okay, well, that sucked. Um, I don't know, it really felt like, I mean, it was, it was my start, but it really felt like it was that turn three sequence that kind of, kind of did it. Um, I don't think there's really anything I could have done there, honestly, uh, but sometimes these things happen, I suppose. Uh, what does this have? Well, it has, it has trashing, it has village, it has draw. Um, I guess the, the great question is going to be about alchemist, uh, and whether that's something that you actually want or not. Uh, I imagine the answer is going to be yes, but, uh, yeah, hard to say. Uh, there's Swamp Shacks, actually, so so probably not. Um, we're going to open probably Guardian Highwayman. Um, I guess we could also go like Guardian War Chest. That's a possibility. I, th I think this this three want, really wants to be a Guardian just because of the, like, 3-4 opening would be something like Hideout Gladiator or Hideout Silver, um, which seems kind of unappealing for us wanting to actually hit five pretty quickly here. Um... So I'm going to go Guardian Highwayman. Uh, it could get kind of iffy. I think you want the Guardian eventually anyways, just because Highwayman will eat up a treasure, but... Um, I guess the problem with Guardian Highwayman is that you really do want to be picking up at least one hideout the second shuffle, uh, and that's not necessarily going to be the best at doing that. No. Oh, okay, well, apparently we're just opening War Chest over there. Now, I think I will take War Chest over Highway Man, maybe. I mean, like, there's multiple things we could want with War Chest, you know, hideout, whatever. 
Uh, do I actually want another guardian? Probably. We'll see. Oh, shoot. Um, mostly because I'd really like to be buying Highwayman next turn, which isn't actually the most likely thing ever. But I have to. I have to bottom deck. Uh, not two coppers. I have to bottom deck either an estate or the guardian to do that. Okay, that fortunately did happen. Um, you probably want to hide out most of all. I'm not like that thrilled with giving you another highwayman right here. Uh, but like given your last turn your buy probably isn't going to be one of these things so maybe i just deny the hideout and let you have two highwaymen it's, it's not the worst thing ever ever either way really um like I, th I think, I think that could have really gone either way. Uh, this was about the best draw possible right here. We'll, we'll really hope I see the Highwayman early in the shuffle. The one I'm about to buy. At this point, we don't want to buy any more Guardians. Hopefully that's never going to be something that's a thing that I can actually do. <laughs> Whoa. Hate all. Huh. I guess it's getting you pretty close to uh, Wealthy Village, potentially. Um, like, if you play a War Chest here, I guess I'd probably just have to deny the Wealthy Village. Like I think I think that was I think that was necessary. I don't know, maybe continuing to deny hideout would have been a bit better, but either way. A lot of gladiators. Um do I want to hit three? Maybe? Probably. Um for a silver, for a gladiator. I mean, we should have plenty of village space. Let me take gladiator. Okay, I'm managing to fail to hit uh, numbers, so that's bad. Uh, that is not like find my highway man. Um, so I guess I'm going to take hideout with the buy. Do I want something else with the with the gain? Maybe idle. Maybe another war chest. I can actually imagine other war chests doing a lot. Um, what can you gain with it? Like Duchy Duke stuff? That seems pretty okay. Bad collision. Real bad collision. I mean, it was, it was bad to begin with to have my highwayman miss and like not have another one coming in, but... Here we are. I don't think fortune's the most important thing ever. Uh, no more guardians. All right, well, fortune's exposed. That's exciting. I don't really want it at all, but, you know. What are we taking? Like wealthy village swamp shacks? That's one idol. Maybe should have considered that before getting two war chests, what I actually wanted to do. I can imagine a hideout here. I think mean, like it's gonna be one of these two probably. I think I might take swamp shacks over wealthy village. I'm not actually a hundred percent sure on that one. Mm. 
Name's idle. Okay. Well, I'm just going to take another hideout. We need to get, we need to get trash down. Uh, and probably at this point, a silver is looking pretty okay. Um, I could also go potion. Um, like that, that will help me to hit wealthy village and it will give me a little bit more draw option. I'll do the potion. Like right now, I'm just not really getting through the deck at all, so that's a that's an issue. <laughs> it's taking me so many shuffles to get through. Um, lack of trashing, whatever you name it. I think I might actually start picking up more Guardians with the impression that I'm going to be starting to grab Swamp Shacks pretty soon here. Uh, this hits five. So maybe we won't be doing that. You're just going to get Fortune? I guess so. I mean, do you even? Probably. I don't know, it seems like there's like so many better things you could be doing with your life right now than getting fortune. <laughs> as odd as that sounds. Um, damn. You have seen War Chest this shuffle. Okay. No, I think I want Swamp Shaxes. Uh, just like two of them. Seems okay. Oh gosh, if I cannot find my Highwayman, I am going to cry. I'm also going to miss Alk, but I'm, I'm so not finding my Highwayman. Ugh. That's ugly. That is ugly. Okay, we found it. Um, I'm missing Alk. I'm not going to trash the potion, I don't think. Uh, we can, we can actually do it something like this, like, make you, make you name Wealthy Village, potentially. Okay, well, let's, let's have a loot. Staff, it's fine. I know I said I was going to pick up Guardians, and apparently I lied, and I'm going to regret it. Ugh. We found the fortune. Well, this is bad. Um, the good news is you're not really drawing yet, so I'm not like out of it, but not a not a great feeling here. Uh, okay, I get Highwayman, and I get more Swamp Shacks, huh? I guess we'll run with it. I mean, what else are we going to do? Pick up Guardian? Probably not right now. It's like it's not like I had any more uh what sits in the deck. I will get to shuffle here. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I mean, I think it's a necessary thing. Okay, this was this was a good turn. Um, I'm not quite reaching uh, whichever, but it's a it's a good turn. And I think I'm actually just going to pick up another guardian, um, given that I have swamp shacks in there. Yeah.
trashed a lot last turn. That's good. I might actually be able to get a sort of effective fortune. Um, figurehead's really nice. Just like any draw is so is so good. Um, uh, this does not reach whatever number. Um, no, it, it it does if I get the if I get the uh, gladiator thing right. <sighs> Guardian. I guess. Please no. Okay. I can top deck a curse, oh boy. Um see if we can get wealthy village named. I'm gonna buy fortune. Um and maybe I just take like two swamp shaxes. We should be consistently drawing from here. I could even like consider taking maybe like idle and I don't know. Another Swamp Shacks. Take our fortune. Play that. Like, I have two Highwaymen coming in. This, this should be pretty, this should be a pretty positive turn. At this point, I am feeling quite ahead. Um. We'll see if I change my mind very quickly. Uh, it may end up happening given how good your turn's looking. Oh, that was loud. I should mention that at some point, this is like New Year's Day, and there's a good chance that at some point during this match, um, the uh, Hell's Angels go by on the highway, and I'm just like completely drowned out by motorcycles. Um do this way. Uh, let's do this. Um, Swamp Shacks is still only drawing one. I guess I want to play. Might want to play this hideout first, uh, just because like I I do desperately want to get to um, other stuff. Okay, we we look like we're drawing fully. Staff. Okay. So this is good. Um. I guess we do the war chests first. I could even just like start taking duchies. Right. Assuming, like, I have three highwaymen out. We should be fully drawing from here. Maybe Duke? It looks, it looks kind of crazy, but, um... Okay, that's fine, and probably a province. I guess we could think about another wealthy village. I'm, I'm like trying to think um, how much plus buy I actually need. And I think the answer is not that much. Okay. Yeah, I was I was just drawing so much better. I got I started getting the highwaymen out a bit better. Um, I'm not exactly sure what else happened, but it, it was kind of this funky game, and and things were going well. Okay, this is a two five that I think I like. Um, yeah. Uh, do we want a pawn with probably what's going to end up being Sea Witch? I think so. Um, we want, like, so, so here you can, there, there's the Witch stuff, which is going to be really important. You can trash down someone with research. Um, 
Eventually, if you actually do get really trashed down, you can do like a highway stack. Uh, I'm not sure how much that's ever going to end up happening, but um, maybe. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I want to go see which over regular which. And hope I don't regret it. I think just given that we're not going to be that trashed down early, that's probably the way to go. Um, it's not like that advantageous of a 2-5 because of borrow. Um, and I'm, well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that, that doing the witch stuff first is, is better than, than just trashing down. Um, Other than that, it's just going to be like, you know, once once we get into next shuffle, a perfect next shuffle will be buy another sea witch, maybe buy a silver, like borrow for a research. Uh, I have eight in deck, so if everything goes like absolutely perfectly, um, I could see sea witch research uh, with the borrow. And I mean, the, the, the first thing is going to be just that I, that I hope to win by overwhelming with curses. Um, okay. Regular witch over sea witch. That is interesting. Uh, I could actually turtle this. I don't think that is a good idea though. If I don't get hit with a curse here, I'm super ahead. Okay, I, I do get hit with a curse here, so I'm not, I'm not like running away, but... Um, do we turtle this and do a research? We could also cantrip it. Um, like if I turtle it, the idea is going to be that maybe I play two sea witches next turn. Uh, It would be like turtle it, borrow. Okay, that doesn't seem good. Let's go card action. All right, let's take our research. Okay, we don't draw the sea witch dead. That's good. Um, I could actually try to go for another research here. That might actually be the way to go. Like I'm, I'm trying to think. Uh, I was trying to think about um, potentially like totally missing stuff, but I think it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to see if I can find that research. I do not. Uh, probably I turtle this. No, yeah, yeah, I turtle this then. Uh, even though you're gonna shuffle, it's like I, I don't want to draw the research and I don't want my other sea witch to be missing the shuffle. Definitely play. Okay, I'm gonna trash two curses, apparently. Um, another pawn. Not particularly. I may not get to curse for a while here. That would be unfortunate. I have cleared out more curses. That's good at least. I guess if I draw a research with a pawn, I'd be pretty sad, but let's not do that. Um, do I want another research? Like, I have so much I need to trash. It doesn't seem like it's maybe the worst option ever. I might end up turtling the second one here. I probably will end up turtling the second one here. It's it's just so not worth it to be clearing out copper. Well, it is, but it's it's also not. Whatever that means. I 
I'd, I'd rather be I'd rather be trashing things that aren't copper. Using my using my valuable researches for for other things. Like I could I could turtle this and have a good chance of hitting that curse. I could also just clear the copper. I think that's gonna be better. Like if I had seen an estate in those two it'd be one thing, but as is, it's just like let's let's keep the let's keep the stuff in the shuffle. Am I really taking the okay, I'm not taking the last curse. You have gotten all of your estates out. Um I've taken more curses out, but that's only that's only so good. <laughs> um We'll see. We'll see. We're still kind of in the in the ugly portion of this game, I'm gonna say. Uh where things are maybe a little bit less predictable than you'd like. I I think I have to I think I have to cantrip this. Whoa. Okay. Uh I don't know about borrowing. I mean, maybe I do. Maybe I should have turtled that pawn, just knowing that there are two sea witches down there. Mm -hmm. Or I could borrow for highway. I'm not, like, that thrilled with outpost, just because I don't know that the turns are going to do that much. Um... Well, if I take the last curse here, that actually makes my life a lot easier. Which I guess I am going to, okay. Because that's going to mean I'm going to research, uh, maybe I actually research the Sea Witch. I probably research Sea Witch. Um, and then turtle this one. Yeah. Coin, uh, coin buy. Do I just want like another highway? Maybe outpost now. Outpost now. Um, we'll see a lot of stuff. We we do need to clear more. Uh, just curse. Actually, this is what we need to be clearing. Piles are low. I don't know that the pawns are doing you a whole lot, but like research is getting down to where it's at least like, I don't know, somewhat conceivable that um something happens. Uh more highway? Probably. I think it's going to be the way to go. Well, let's just trash curse. I mean, I think I think you just trash the curses when you can. Um, this is a situation where I should consider turtling this highway. Like, what am I actually going to buy that I that I like? I don't think pawn is particularly productive. Yeah. Maybe be researching a research this next turn. Maybe I take the last pawn. Like I, I'm not, I'm kind of hesitant to just lower piles randomly, just because like I don't want to be in a situation where eventually like you feel comfortable just taking researches because my option is like score or die. 
Um, and I feel like I sure have enough pawns in deck to, to accomplish whatever. Um, so, you know, let's, let's hold off on that for now. Uh, highway doesn't work with research particularly well, I'm noticing. <laughs> I don't think that's really what we want to be running, but it's just something to, something to think a little bit about. Uh, particularly not with a start of turn highway, anyways. I guess you can do, uh, like, Tide Pool's Outpost. You get a lot of, uh, something that way. Uh, do I want to draw into this? I don't think so. I kind of want to score, too. Um, so maybe I take like action coin turtle and buy duchy or something. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm not actually that concerned about you emptying piles. It's just, well, maybe you can. All right, let's do, let's do action coin and turtle this one and then Maybe I'm just buying another highway. Maybe it could be tide pools also. Like if we do the tide pools into outpost thing, yeah, maybe let's, let's go back and think about this a little bit more. So like if I take buy, what could I do? I could go like tide pools silver. Um, I may be, I may be being trying to be a little bit too ambitious here without like any other, any draw other than turtle stuff. Uh, the other thing we could do is we could like buy a pilgrim, uh, just straight up. I guess. Um. I mean, I want more highways, but. Let's do it this way, and then let's figure it out. I'm not. I'm not buying anything that costs more than three, so I don't think that's a concern. Could also consider like cobbler. That could give me some start of turn oomph for research, and also potentially gain a tide pools. Let's do that. It'll. It'll. What the the idea is that it'll essentially potentially give me like a threat on. Um, threat on researches, which I don't know how valuable having a threat on researches is, but we're going to try to run with it. That is a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff. Hmm. I don't know. I didn't get to like do the overwhelming with curses that I was kind of hoping for with the sea witch stuff. I had a lot of like not playing sea witches. Um, but is this going to be a province buy? I guess so. That's my guess anyways. Cobbler might be a little bit too, uh, I don't know, something, might be a little bit too something. Okay, now you're putting highway in. This is probably just going to be turtling something. Um... I mean, I'm sure you have something in there that you're wanting to turtle, because otherwise you totally shouldn't be trying to trying to have a turn here. Oh, that's weird. Okay. I totally would have turtled that last pawn and just called it a day, I think. 
Do I want to trash copper? Maybe. I'm trying to think like how big can this outpost turn actually possibly be? Um, surely you want to undo now. Borrow for one hour tide pools, okay. Uh, I'm going to do this first just out of the theory that I might have wanted to re-turtle this, but I don't think is the case. No, I think it is the case. Like we, we turtle this, we research copper, we play outpost, we play cobbler. And then our cobbler is going to gain uh oh, I may have just blown it there. It's gonna gain a silver, but I think I'm just gonna research away immediately. And then turtle two highways. Does that make like any sense at all? doesn't make any sense because I should be uh, researching tide pools instead. Well, actually, maybe not. Eh. I don't like I don't think there's a winning thread over there. I hope not. <laughs> that should be too much here. Well, it basically means that uh, I can I can win this turn or I win win this turn sequence. That's that's what it's going to mean. Um, pretty easily at that. Uh, this is like card by this is like coin by play outpost by three researches win outpost research 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 cobbler out cobbler gains research we're done Okay. Well, we figured it out. Um, I don't know that we really figured it out. That was more just like a crappy whatever, but... But, but I won, so, like, I, I can't complain. Um, alright. Uh, Wisp from Druid is the only draw. That's the first thing I'm seeing here. Um, so probably we have to open Druid and Priest, because, well, why wouldn't you open Priest? And then we just need, like, every single Wisp in the world. That one. Gain a Wisp. A 2-5, you'd probably take Druid Cobbler, maybe Trickster, I think, I think Cobbler, just because, like, presumably you can draw Curses not that, without that much difficulty. Um, oh, I guess I, you know, I, I don't, I can't keep track of the games, anyways. This is game four, I think. Yeah, okay. We, we both have similar ideas, except in my case, I collide stuff. Which is more important, trashing the state or gaining a wisp? I think I want to go wisp druid. Yeah. Gross. Um, nothing, silver, maybe nothing. I was really hoping to, yeah, all right, 
nothing. Here, I'll take a silver now. I just, I just didn't really want it in this shuffle. Maybe I did want it in this shuffle. Nine cards. Yeah. What I really want to do is like buy a village, but that hasn't been happening. Namely, bizarre. Although, really, any would do. The reason I want to say gaining a wisp is more important um, is that, uh, like, wisp is a limited resource. You can always trash more states. Um, here we will take a we will take the bazaar um, when possible. Has to be have have to get village in. Um, here, I guess I'll take a mining village, or maybe a priest. Probably a priest. I don't really know what my village situation is down there. My my village situation is stuff's gonna collide because I I just my my deck does not like to not collide things. Um, I feel like I'm lose wisp pretty hard, and I'm also gonna lose trashing pretty hard. I'm also gonna lose bizarre pretty hard. So at this point, I. Pretty sure I'm just toast. Uh, and I mean, this the solution is don't have your crap collide. <laughs> Wisp, bizarre. Hope good things happen. The shuffle. Hope you didn't see any term second terminal. Darn. <laughs> Um, you didn't hit eight. That's good, because otherwise you could mirror bazaar. At some point, it'll be time for training on bazaar. Uh, the time has not come yet. I also feel like the wisp splits can go six six, but I'm behind for other reasons, namely you know fewer bazaars and fewer. Uh, other things. Um, I think this should just be a wisp gain. The training makes it so that you'll probably be able to mirror bazaar sooner that rather than later. Uh, so I think that I think that made sense. Like you don't necessarily need to just get more bazaars. In your case, you already had potentially enough. Um, it's just kind of how how things went. Okay, um, that. Uh, I guess we gain a wisp. Continue to. Uh, I could train bazaars. I don't think that's actually particularly necessary yet. Like I think I can hit eight without it, and if you hit eleven, power to you. Yeah. The other thing I could also consider is like adding more druid just because we have this uh, sun's gift kind of combo thing. I don't think that's really actually that much of a thing, but maybe I should trash the wisp instead, or trash the druid instead, and take like double bizarre here. Yeah, that seems pretty insane. Um, we could mirror mining village. That seems bad also. Maybe we do just train bizarre. Like, like I don't think you're gonna hit 14. Maybe you do. Like, I don't, I don't want to find out the hard way. So, probably I'm just taking bizarre here to, to make sure that I don't like die on, die on that split. Like, the impression is you're going to hit 11, but if you were to hit 14, which definitely looks like it could be happening, especially if you had trashed that mining village, um, that would have been dreadful, <laughs> quite frankly. Yeah, yeah, okay. Good, good thing I took the bazaar. And really, maybe I should have trashed the wisp and taken two. 
I don't know. I think Wisps went even. Uh, you just took two, you played four, so that means you probably have six, potentially seven. That would be bad. Uh, I mean, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a clean, like, turn behind just because I don't have the training there yet. Um, yeah, okay. That was, that was expectation number one, and expectation number two is just, I don't know, something else. Farmer's market, sure. It would be bad to not find Druid. Okay, I guess we're gonna mirror for some stuff. Uh, really, I need to be putting training on Bazaar, but uh, instead, I guess we're gonna mirror a bunch of farmers' markets. I don't think that's actually better than Druid. Maybe they are. I don't need more village. Maybe I do just do the training on Bazaar right here. I don't like I don't think there's anything else to for the deck to do really. And let's see, I saw four wisps last turn and I only have up to one more, which means you got seven wisps. So that's also bad. More bazaars, more wisps, better trashed. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, hmm. More bazaars, more wisps, better trash, producing a lot more money. I don't think this is gonna go well. I, I really don't. Um. Okay. Oh, that was probably actually really dumb. Um, I'm just gonna, yeah. Well, maybe I should have done the, uh, well, I had the estate in hand, so it's not like I could have hit five had I priested that turn three. So I guess I just needed to, like, not collide? I don't know. All right, what do we have here? Um, Fawning Scavenger, that's awkward, but we have, like, Wharf Port going on. Uh, so that seems somewhat significant. Um, open is probably old map magpie. I'm not that into rope early here just because, uh, I feel like it, like an old map rope open sort of impinges on your ability to hit five for wharf, which seems much more important. And also getting lots of magpie seems much more important. Also, I don't know how much you actually want to trash copper. Um, so probably we're going to go Old Map Magpie. Uh, Voyage seems probably good enough to do early. Um, just because, like, it can get you Magpie activations, etc. Maybe a big rope. I might just be wrong on this one, but I'm I'm pretty sure I, I don't care that much about whatever. Like if I had rope here, would I be pretty sad? Yeah, I actually would be. I'm pretty sure. Okay, you do take rope. Um, well now this is a, now this is a decision. Do I take rope or do I keep taking magpies? I'm gonna keep taking magpies, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to not rotate because I'm going to buy Wharf here. Oh, I thought I was going to buy Wharf. Um, so that's a, that's a surprise. Um, so I guess now I'm thinking about picking up Rope just because, like, do I really need a fourth Magpie? Probably not. I'm 
and I think things are going okay right here. You might want to voyage. Nope. You want a wharf. Okay, I'm gonna get a second rope. This is actually this is actually fine. Like I'm I'm drawing fine without the wharfs, so you know. <sighs> You're gonna rotate to sunken, that's what this looks like to me. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I, I kind of want a sunken treasure. And I will get one. Um, do I want it more than I want to have a wharf? Probably, actually. Like, I, as I say, I, sh I should be drawing okay with the number of magpies I have, so... Um, I think it's fine to be, it's fine to be adding that. I guess my concern right now is that you're like accomplishing however much more uh, just because you have the wharves. Maybe not. Summon magpie, okay. Uh, I'm gonna rotate. Just because I want my sunken treasure to be for wharf. And we're gonna summon, I guess, a magpie. I don't particularly want to summon port just because I think I can do better than that uh, next turn. Like the sunken treasure can, yeah. I mean, at some point I want like gold, but not yet. We'll probably end up with nine magpies from here, uh, which is really good, I'm gonna say. I guess I was talking about gold last turn and then didn't do it. Of what, eight coins in deck? That's not very good. We'll have to, we'll have to do something to improve that, like, buy silver wharf here. Pick up farmer's market. I think, I mean, the sunken treasure I think has to be ports. I've, I've set myself up for that. Um. And then buy is gonna be like wharf silver. Uh, you just actually don't have very much money in deck, I don't think. Um. Uh, voyage. No. And I think I'm also not playing this magpie because the best thing I could do is like get a state. Alright, we should have a better payload build from here. Um,. I guess top decking the state wouldn't have actually been the worst thing ever, but I'll be able to put in a, uh, what's it, distant shore maybe, if you rotate, which you shouldn't. I guess there's also some argument to like taking province because if it comes with a scavenger, you're actually kind of happy with that. Diplomat? Diplomat? Huh. Maybe you figure you just don't have the draw. I'm I'm kind of was kind of expecting that to be a gold and maybe it'll be rope silver. Okay. 
in this market. Uh, this should be magpies first this turn. Okay, that's the deck. Uh, how much money is this? Ten. An awkward number. Um, I mean, I think I'm taking farmer's market and then buying gold silver. Yeah. Like, I think I should have enough draw to do that. Maybe I don't. Or I could go like gold diplom gold diplomats. I could go wharf wharf summon farmers market. That might actually be okay. I'm kind of liking that plan actually. I don't know what sunken treasure is gaining next turn, but I would like to get another wharf in here. I have the terminal space. Your farmer's market gets to go for four, which is unfortunate, but that's all right. So beat this distant shore. Yep. And also I would like actually to probably start trashing some copper with these with these ropes. I don't know, having nine magpies seems so advantageous. I don't really want to figure out how I'm gonna blow this, but I, I do have to be careful. Uh estates are gonna drain kind of fast from here. Uh ports can go really quickly. Um you know, all of these things. I could also fail to draw, which would be kind of insane. Um, okay, that is not what is going to happen here. That's a relief. Um, so this is distant shore for sure. Um, so I'm gonna need another set of ports. No, I don't actually need necessarily need another set. No, I do need another set of ports. Um, like I could go ports wharf summon FM again. Uh, that is getting things awfully low, but. Things are just going to have to be awfully low. I could also just go like province. Get a scavenger with it. I mean, that improves deck function. I just I kind of want to balance the wars just because I am a little bit concerned about draw. And I don't really want to summon a farmer's market because I don't actually think I want to be playing that many next turn. I seem to be kind of off on off on these things. Um, although if I do summon farmer's market, I think there's a possibility that I'm able to pile like Port's Estate or something, depending on what you do. I don't know. I feel like I could get into situations where I'm I'm feeling pretty I'm feeling pretty screwed. Uh, going this way. My hope is that you don't draw, but I don't think that's actually a I don't think that's actually a like thing that can happen. Um, I could also like hold on the farmers markets for one turn if I don't summon one, or I could summon one and then not play the others. Potentially.
That's what we're gonna, I think that's what we're gonna try to do. I don't know, like the other thing to consider is that your buying power just isn't like that much. So like I don't I don't know how much ability you actually will have to end the game at any point. Even if you do have this this little point lead. Okay, you want the other distant shore. I mean, it's up to 10, although that was with one farmer's market fuel. So, our, our move this turn is going to actually just be to play, play no more farmer's markets after the, after the first. Yeah. Don't. Magpie should come first, even if they're all missing. Okay. Um, one more. Uh, we're going to not play Distant Shore. I want to gain the other one. Um, I think we said we're not playing any more Farmer's Markets. Correct. So let's go Distant Shore Province. Yeah. Like, I theoretically should have the... I just feel like something weird is going to happen and I'm not going to draw. That's that's like what my feeling keeps being is just I'm going to fail to draw, I'm going to fail to draw, I'm going to fail to draw. Um, it, I think it's like super unlikely, but as I say, I, I, I'm, I'm having a lot of trouble shaking, shaking that feeling. I'm also a little bit concerned, at least, that I've just provided a win. Or at least a tie, like on Ports Farmers Markets. It seems hard, uh, just with the amount of money that I at least thought you had. That would take, like, that would take a lot. Or at least my hope is it would take a lot. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's quite getting there. I also guess I maybe should have trashed a copper last turn. I'm also probably done buying provinces, like at this point if we need a big point chunk, Fairgrounds is going to do us better because it doesn't come with a stupid scavenger. Um, <laughs> so I think I should end up just being able to win on like Ports Estates here, is, is my theory, um, especially with two Farmer's Markets plays and the Distant Shore plays. I guess it depends a little bit on what you end up doing, but... Because, like, one farmer's market pop plus... Maybe you take two fairgrounds? No, okay. Yeah, okay, so my, my theory is that I can win here on a farmer's market pop plus estates. Um, I guess you can actually maybe defend against that by taking two estates. I don't know if you're going to do that, but... Maybe. 
don't even know if I have like enough money that to to beat that. My my theory though is that is that that's that's how this is gonna go. Is I is I will be winning. Um. Whoops, that was a mistake. Um, okay, scavenger produces more money. I don't need the extra buys. Because this costs 16, which I don't have. Because I'm stupid and I played my damn wharf and just lost the game because of it. Because I'm stupid. <sighs> Well, actually, well, what what are we going to do? We're go we're going to take <sighs> That was that was so bad. It was like so bad. I mean, I need to take fair grounds. And I guess I need to take a state. I, I cannot believe I played that wharf. Um, I think the four states do me the best at winning just because, like, it cuts off your ability to get points with them. Maybe that's wrong? No, it's gotta be right. I, I I mean I, ha I had the win I had the win I just screwed up. And played the wharf without thinking too much. That was just terrible. Really, really bad. And this time, if I draw, that's actually going to come as a surprise. Um, cause, you know, I just junked up my deck so badly. That was, that was just so bad. So bad. There's no way to get 20, right? 4 plus 7 plus 9 is 20. Oh, okay, I guess there is a way to get 20. <sighs> uh, but you don't have a bunch of these things, so... Not as relevant. That was just a like, such a bad blown win. <laughs> I may still win this game, and but, like... Just so stupid. <laughs> At least we took the estates. We didn't like blow it after that and take like two fairgrounds or something. Although I don't know that you would have been able to beat that either. The four estates may actually have been really bad after doing that because now like I seriously might not draw um <laughs> I don't know there, I think I think there's still like lots of combinations here that get me to be able to buy port twice but or game port twice it's just I'm I'm depressed about missing the win so I'm just imagining like all the worst cases especially looking at this hand uh and going, wowee, I really blew this one badly. <sighs> and then I guess also contemplating, like, 
if you take two fairgrounds, I actually have to do more than the two ports. Although I don't see how you're getting to two fairgrounds without uh, playing your farmer's market, so... <sighs> God, I can't believe I missed that win. Just play the wharf. I I just played it, and you know I said that was really bad at the time, and it and it was just that bad. And I don't feel like I can legitimately ask for that undo either. So, <sighs> you know, here we are. Okay, you didn't play any farmers market, so I don't think you take a point lead here at least. At least that's my that's my guess. Um, I can still like super dud, and I probably will just because the game likes to punish you for being an idiot. That was just an absurd missed win. Like, that's just crap level stuff. Autopiloting to, to thinking that you're going to win no matter what you do. And I've had, I've actually had like another game like that this season where I just kind of autopiloted a last turn thinking that like I, I surely have it no matter what I do. And. In that case, it was that I didn't plan ahead. It wasn't that I, like, just completely screwed something up in mid-turn. But, yeah. We'll see if I get away with this one. <laughs> we want to trash two estates instead. I want to trash two coppers instead. No, a state farmer's market. Okay. We want one more coin. This is going to be Fairgrounds Duchy. Summon Voyage Fairgrounds. That was so bad. Alright, deck, come through. Okay, not trashing. Okay, be careful. Do not play ports unnecessarily. Do not play ports unnecessarily. Okay, uh, I have to play port now. Right? No way around it. Three. Yeah, okay. I have to play port. Um, stop, think. If we play two farmers markets here, what happens? I have seven. Gosh dang. Uh, how many buys? Not enough. Alright, scavenger. If we play scavenger here, what happens? I can't believe I did that. It's so pathetic. Just, hmm. I mean, I guess we're going to buy a fairground and gain a trading post, voyage. I don't think there's anything I can draw with the Diplomat that makes things better. I did manage to play two Wharves somehow. Uh, we're definitely not discarding deck here. I also need to consider, like, what all stuff I have. Um... <sighs> 
Voyage. I think Voyage is the best of these things. Not a good feeling. And this turn, I think you surely will be able to catch up. Well, I don't know how good your draw is going to be. It seems it seems quite possible that you that you run out of a run out of go. Um, came up one coin short on the on the ports, which is just. I don't know. It's like it's it's tough from here. It's tough from here. I don't know if the voyage was actually well. We might be able to pre-plan something out. I mean, you see all your cards, so that's that. I don't think you can win, but. I sure don't I sure don't like being behind on points now. Uh you still have one farmer's market. Okay, don't trash. Magpies first. Are we still gonna avoid playing ports? For at least a little bit, okay. Um, don't rotate. Let's keep drawing, keep drawing. Okay. Um, I see the sunken treasure. Um, so I guess we should contemplate like where I am on fairgrounds. Um, I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. We need gold, duchy, trading post, curse uh, to, to reach what would be, what, four points? That's not very good. Um, so this probably looks like well, we're not playing that farmer's market, that's for sure. Or the voyage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's, there's like no way I'm winning on the voyage turn. Um, is that actually true? No, there's, there's like port scavenger in there, which I can't like play that and then a third card. So, so let's play our farmer's market. Um, let's contemplate having 10, which I really thought was 11. Um, we'll take the trading post, and then I guess I'm going to go fairground, I don't know, I need, I need too much stuff here, and go ports, ports, and lose, I mean, I think we want fairgrounds, I, rather than like double duchy. Maybe we do take the double duchy because that way like gold curse next turn can can spike my remaining fairgrounds. Which isn't terrible. Although the other thing that fairgrounds does is it makes it harder for you to take another fairground. So maybe we go like or we could go like duchy summon diplomat. Again, I don't I don't think 13 is a real threat from over there, but I also don't really want to find out. Um another rope shouldn't be bad, I don't think. 
Another silver might also be okay. Missing that win, man. That's just... <sighs> That's so crazy. Just irresponsible. So bad. So, so bad. Like, I don't know if I deserve to lose this game, but if I do, it's it's not undeserved. <laughs> The Gold Duchy Curse gets me a Fairgrounds Bump. That's five points right now. I wonder how fortunate my draws have been to, like, not be dying these past couple turns. I feel like they've been pretty fortunate. Can't believe I did that. Just... Like, I think I li I've at least probably cut off your, your fairgrounds buying, so probably you can only take, like, a single province, um, potentially. I mean, you might also think, like, oh, this has got to be the end of your turn also, because otherwise you'd be playing something. Either, either non-terminal draw or a port. Uh, so somehow you've some managed to fail to draw before me, despite me like adding a ton of estates to my deck like a dope. Maybe you haven't hit eight. I mean, hitting six and buying fairgrounds for you is probably like okay-ish, just because uh, I don't know that my chances of hitting twelve are actually particularly high. Um. If the top deck one of these green things, huh? Oh, you do take fairgrounds, okay. Now, I don't know that I would have done that, but it may not end up mattering if I can't get my deck to work. Okay. Um, apparently, I can't get my deck to work. Uh, well, that has to be done. And I guess we're going to buy silver. Gosh, I hate this so much. You're so going to hit 8. It's going to be so easy for you to hit 8. I swear. Well, take your wins when you have them, you moron. <laughs> Like I don't I don't know if you can ask for that undo legitimately. <sighs> Maybe you didn't get there. I don't think there's any way you didn't not get there. That's just going to make me depressed for the last game. <laughs> That's really what it's going to do. Well, 
I wonder if there was like a way last turn if I like play the scavenger and top deck a silver, like if I can guarantee that I hit five for a duchy at least. I don't know. Can't believe I did that. Just I mean, I assume you don't have eight coins in hand somehow, because otherwise you'd just be doing that. And I hate waiting like this to find out. Ugh. Or voyaging. Ugh. We're going to take port. No, we're going after farmer's markets. Ugh. This. this is just so depressed. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? I should have asked for the undo. This board has um, stuff. I mean, we're going to open Bounty Hunter, and I don't really know what to open with it. Uh, there's arguments for lots of things. Um, supplies, cargo ship, uh, bobble even. Um, I think the thing that we're probably looking at doing longer term is like Hamlet, Swashbuckler, uh, just like village draw stuff, which means that this game's probably pretty simple and there's not going to be any way to really overcome my disadvantage. Um, God, I'm depressed. Uh, <laughs> there's arguments for opening lots of things. One of those things is cargo ship. Um, the idea there is that you're going to hit like five with it and you're going to set aside maybe a charm or a haunted woods uh, both of which are pretty good um, bobble hamlet supplies cargo ship uh, that doesn't help um, I mean, that's just going to be what makes me demote this season straight up, is, is that wharf play. I swear to God. Uh, I just, I, like, I don't actually know what to open on this three. I think there's, there's good arguments for lots of things, including, like, adding plus buy really early. Uh, just because, like, you, you want this, this supply stuff. Uh, Bobble also works well with, like, this fellowship of scribes going on. Um, and I don't know how, like, valuable it is to actually set aside a five early. 
Uh, it might be pretty, it might be pretty valuable, especially if you like see cargo ship and bounty hunter, you could, uh, maybe gain like city swashbuckler right away or city haunted woods. All right. I'm convinced. I think, I mean, I, I think, I think. Hamlet probably isn't a good option, but supplies Bobble also reasonable. Maybe Bobble's just better because you don't have to... I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. I, I can't, like, find the... I can't find the... Um... That would be overly generous, but uh, I can't think. I'm like I'm like I'm thinking if I play the uh, cargo ship, um, The, the thing that I think cargo ship may be like worse than, than Bobble is that like you're, you're doing this cargo ship where you're setting aside, whereas Bobble you top deck. Uh, the reason I'm doing cargo ship is because like I have this kind of ambition where we're going to see them in a particular order. Um, this was not that order, but it'll work out anyways. Um, and I guess we're not going to take our draw because I just kind of want haunted woods set aside. I think. Is that true? Or do we want like a charm? Like a charm's not actually going to reach me to the things that I want. So I think it probably should be Haunted Woods. Um, although it may be best to just go straight to Swashbuckler. I don't know. Trigger that shuffle. No, it doesn't seem very good. All right. So we're, we're matching, we're matching so far. Um, don't need that. Don't need that. A haunted woods. Uh, do that. Um, how much do I feel like I need to draw right here? I don't know. If I draw right here, it's like plus Four, I mean, I get, I get to four coins. I'm talking, talking to a stace no matter what, which sucks, but, um, I get to four coins. The idea would be that I'm buying, like, Bounty Hunter or something, uh, as opposed, to, well, I guess we could also buy Exploration. That's, that's the other option, really, um, that it would, might be good to hit four for. And I think that might be best. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm not that thrilled with not buying anything, but on the other hand, it's like, if I top deck two estates, I'm, I feel like I'm immediately falling, you know, however much behind. Oh, I also just can't do the, the scribes. Uh, so maybe we do just take Bobble right now. Man, top deck of the two estates sucks compared to whatever. Um, what do we have in there? Uh, Bounty Hunter Bobble. So now I'm going to take another Haunted Woods, and we should be pretty okay. Um, I think. Uh, and I'm, and I'm very happy that I have this bobble. I guess it would be okay as a Hamlet also, but, um, the, the next real ambition is going to be getting this Hamlet swashbuckler thing moving, uh, which I think I might be able to actually do like right away. 
uh, if I don't draw an estate off the scribe. Yeah, like that. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, let's go by top deck. And we'll top deck like Hamlet supplies. Uh, I guess the other option is that I take like buy coin and top deck, or and don't top deck and just take Hamlet supplies. I don't think another bounty hunter does me a whole lot. And I am bringing through the, uh, I found charm with five. That's annoying because this can be like city swashbuckler now, which is real good or, or haunted woods charm or any, any of these other things that, that seem better than what I'm doing. Um, okay. Uh, we get to top deck the cargo ship. I think I want to do that over not playing Haunted Woods. Well, is that really true? I mean, I don't get to my Haunted Woods next turn if I don't play one now. So, uh, Village Green, Exploration, more Hamlet, more Supplies. These seem like the options. I could just go more Supplies. I don't really feel like I need to be adding um, village right now. Like I, I should be able to do that fairly rapidly uh, at some point. Although, if if I'm going to be buying something like uh, swashbuckler, or whatever, maybe I maybe I do need the the village more so. Um, we may also be bountying cargo ship next turn. I'm not sure. I don't really love the village green, but I don't think there's anything else to buy. I'm, I'm pretty substantially behind already. Um, and I mean, I think a lot of it comes down to having had to, you know, top deck the two estates, whatever. Uh, like I, I'm, I'm down a charm. I'm down a swashbuckler. Instead, I have a supplies and a village green. Like this is, this is not, this is not good. <laughs> uh, and I have a bobble instead of I don't know what a city. Like swashbuckler, city charm versus village green, bobble supplies. Let's let's think about which one of these things is is better to have. Um. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's particularly complicated. Uh, alright. So we need an action. I guess I'm only hitting five. Uh, which sucks. But, we take the, uh, maybe we take a charm over, um, Swashbuckler. Like, I know I have the, uh, what's it's in there. Um. This will be coin favor, I guess. Like, maybe I just say I'm gonna be really ambitious and try to find the, uh, other haunted woods without any help next turn. That might be the way I need to do it, just because I feel like otherwise I'm, you know, I'm I'm falling behind on gains, which you which you really can't be doing. I mean, I'm not expecting, I'm not expecting discussing the result to mean anything.
really can't be doing. Um, like like this turn, I think the the gains have to be Charm Swashbuckler in a in a perfect world. Like that's that's the only way I'm coming back on this one. Um, most of my cards are just straight up worse than worse than yours. I wonder if there, I guess there's also this scenario where like I can bounty the village green and then like somehow buy extra stuff. Whoa. Oh, I guess I guess you just like want a hamlet or want supplies or, or something. Um I don't know. We we need charms. We need charms. We need draw. So much stuff I need. Um, well, that's when we find out if I lose. Apparently I lose. <sighs> one card, one freaking card. Oh my gosh. All right, buy coin. Or actually, well, it doesn't matter. No, it does matter. Top deck coin. This will be gain. Um, we go charm. Swashbuckler, which we top deck. Hamlet, which we top deck. And gosh, this looks bad. Like, I wonder how we actually make it work from here. Um, I'm basically hoping that you have these terrible turns that I don't know if they can actually happen. And let's wash buckler discard charm. This should be another charm. Oh, that's surprising. Uh I think we're gonna discard the bounty hunter. And I can't afford to be taking buys. Um, coin top deck. This will be gain gain, and I'm gonna take Swashbuckler City Charm. I need more village at this point. Swashbuckler top deck charm city top deck. Charm, charm, don't top deck. Okay, so the hope is that we're still, I don't know, competitive. At this point, I feel like I've gotten maybe a lot of it back, maybe not all the way, but I think I've gotten a lot of the, uh, the gains deficit back. Now it's more a matter of like being able to compete for the uh treasure chest effectively, which i if I'm careful and actually if I'm lucky is is probably more the word I should be able to get going next turn um, I should be able to get next turn. I think, it, I think it's more of an if I'm lucky than an if I'm careful. Uh, specifically, it's going to require drawing uh, some stuff off this city, specifically a hamlet, I guess, uh, which I think I only have one of. 
Oh no, I have I have multiple hamlets. Okay. All right, we're gonna discard the cargo ship for action here. I think. Just because, like, if things go properly, okay, which they didn't, um, I was going to want to play another swashbuckler. Uh, we don't need to do any of that, so we'll play the Haunted Woods. Um, I may still have a chance at things next turn. Uh, if we're going to go, like, top deck... Uh, something. Again, I think I need to be putting, like, Swashbuckler City Charm on top. Uh, I'm not sure how, like, low piles are getting, but I feel like I don't really have other options, so... You know... Charm, don't top deck. I have to I have to get the treasure chest going this turn. If I get the treasure chest going this turn, I think I'm like sort of still in it. I'm still like this turn behind. Um, just from assorted whatever. Uh, but. Well, maybe more than a turn behind. I'm still behind from, from stuff. It's just, I uh, maybe not like, uh, totally dead. I also wonder, like, if I'm emptying Charm next turn, do I lose? Assuming you take none. I think the answer to that is probably yes. Just as a wild guess. I wonder if I just lose right here. Probably not. That, that, one, that one seems a little bit far-fetched. I mean, you should take a Charm. I don't think there's really any way that you... die... Uh, you could draw, like, a bunch of treasure plus washbucklers and no village. That seems plausible. Alright, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna run with that as the thing that might happen. Um, to, to stay in this game. Assuming I do lose here, which I will, most likely. Um, let's show. Uh, I might not have wanted to blow up that horse, but oh well. Ugh. All right, so I'm not going to get to treasure chest here, uh, which stinks. Uh, I am going to take that last charm this turn, I think. Is that true? No, I, I think I just need a point lead, actually. Um, so maybe what we do here is we go, like, Bounty the Village Green. Uh, I mean, I could try to draw back around. I'm just not sure what good it does me. B 
bounty the village greedy and gain it back. Um, like I, I don't, I don't know what I want to gain with the charms. My, my assumption is, is that if I, if I take this last charm, I lose immediately. So let's try not to do that. Maybe I just want to take two provinces. I mean, I want to take a village green. So. And I don't really want to give up coffers, although at this point, maybe I might as well, because, like, the game's practically over. Um, so maybe I do just take two provinces and call it. I think we're going to actually exile the cargo ship and then... Duration the village green. No. Um. So I think I want like province, duchy. Oh god, I don't know. Uh. I guess the thing that's in there is like supplies bobble. Uh, we could go maybe duchy. I can't really afford to be taking any of the fives. So maybe just go straight province duchy village green. Cargo ship, discard from exile. I don't know if this will save me, but I think it's worth a shot. Like I'm imagining a scenario where you just are able to like take out duchies this turn. Um, my hope is still that you somehow dud, uh, which seemed outwardly possible for a little bit there before you played the horse. <laughs> I think I think there's scenarios where um I think there's scenarios where you dud. Um Maybe not this turn. I don't know if you'll just have the win this turn, but but next turn maybe you'll dud. We're we're still we're still in belief that that it can happen. Kind of. Um, although I don't know, like maybe you can just take all of the provinces and not have to worry about such things. Uh, so this is five charms, so you could take charm, yeah, okay, this, this is a win, because you can take province, charm, and all the swashbuckler and city stuff, uh, like charm, four city, swashbuckler, swashbuckler, province, so that's a, that's a win. I don't really know what I could have done to prevent it last turn. I could have taken two provinces instead of province duchy, I guess. That that would have been the that would have been the move. Oh well. Okay, you got it. And if I take two provinces, what happens? Probably I lose in other ways. I don't know. Um, 
All right. I can reload it. We'll just we'll put this in. My assumption is that, that there's not going to be a, a result change, but um, we'll we'll include this just so that. Just so that you can all know what what the what happened. Ugh. Um. Anyways, um, that was that, so I missed the one win, uh, and that is going to probably make me demote, so see you all.